There we go. All right, welcome folks. This is our Zoom up. It's our meetup on Zoom. And the whole idea behind this is to inspire you to get off the couch, get out there, do some real estate investing, take control of your life and live the life of your dreams using our proven systems. I'm joined today by my co-host, Mr. Scott Rowe. What's up, Scott? And uh, this whole thing was started by a gentleman named uh, Michael Huggins, who didn't mention his name, but uh, I'm doing great, bro. Oh, yeah. Hello, I'm everyone. Here. My name is Michael. Michael Huggins, everybody. <laughs> and you know, here's I'm, the funny uh, thing. Like, you're like, I just forgot myself, except you're a 32-year-old kid sitting on uh, 265 acres of land that you're land developing and putting together Airbnb tree houses on. So That's right. I mean, we Wait, met Michael when he was 22 years old, and he was uh, changing oil in the pit of a Jiffy Lube. <laughs> and yank him out and, and now he's amazing so yeah gone are the oh, days thanks for being amazing brother hey thanks for the support and i uh, wouldn't have been able to do it without this community and amazing people like our our guest today in fact and uh folks for those of you who don't know scott and his uh incredible story of transformation he only had one job outside of college he got he rose to the top and then instantly that industry collapsed and he lost everything he lost it was like a, you know what it was like michael it was mm -hmm. like a dunk tank so, I mean, throw me through a, through a baseball, I hit the thing, and every I lost everything. <laughs> oh, man. Too quick. Too quick, yeah. And uh, and so he rebuilt his empire, rebuilt everything. Now he's doing much better. He's got, I think, over 100 rental properties that he's involved in somewhere, somehow. 79. Let's be 79. Accurate. Okay, let's yeah. be accurate here. 79. That's plenty. And, um, and our whole goal is to continue to empower people to use real estate to live their best life ever. And... Um, and you got to understand real estate has its own risks. Okay. You got to be careful. You got to surround yourself with professionals because you could lose a lot of money. But on the flip side, if you do it great and you do it professionally and you count the numbers and you do it with a method, you can make as much as you can handle. So um, anything else you want to add, Scott, before we jump into it? I would like to add this. Uh, I don't know if you said it already because I was actually looking at the attendance list. I was a little distracted and men can't handle multitasking. So I'm going to say it again. Um, it does, it, it, there is risk. So make sure you're dotting the I's and crossing the T's. You're working with the right community and knowing what you're doing is better than not knowing, <laughs> right? And right. hanging out with people that have been through the kind of stuff you're about to experience means that you don't got to, and you can learn. So, yeah. Stay coachable folks. Doesn't matter how old you are. We got people in our community turning 18 all the way up to 81 doing deals, <laughs> making things happen. You've got to stay coachable. That's the best way to make this thing work. Uh, and at the end of this, whoever got you here, there's a, uh, you want to get back with them because there's another series of videos. There's an intro, a house tour, or a workshop that you're going to want to come see so that you can see hands on what we're doing, how you can link arms with us and start getting the benefits that we're currently getting from this program. So, and don't ask them to send you Candace Adams. Don't, don't say, Hey, please don't send me that Candace Adams video. I don't want to see it. Don't ask for that one. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good stuff. All right. We talk about oh, Chuck. Let's talk about Chuck. Nothing yeah, about let's Candace. Let's jump into this. So, <laughs> and, uh, Tell, tell everyone a little bit about Chuck. Scott. I'm going to tell you what I know about Chuck. When I met Chuck, uh, he had a cabinet business, I believe. He was uh, working in, in uh, Montana, baby. Uh, up there in right. Montana, uh, Big Sky. And um, he came in through a webinar. So we didn't have anybody in Montana checking us out, right? So we had fortunately put together a webinar platform that we were doing meetings out of this building of. And he, he saw it and uh, uh, locked on. And uh, he's got a story pre this. I think he did real estate before this, but um, I'll let him tell the rest of the story. But I, but I love Chuck. Uh, this guy is one of the, he's, the, he's one of the nicest guys I've ever met in my life, right? Uh, <laughs> believes in, in, the, in the human condition, loves, uh, loves people, loves their potential, and he's helped us out a ton uh, with this community. So without further ado, Mr. Chuck Hodge. Chuck Hodge, everybody. Hey, hey, hey. All right. Well, um, honored to be here with you guys today. It's uh, going to be quite a pleasure to be the featured speaker. I've, you know, I've been jumping on these. You know, I used to do these. Um, we used to do the interviewing side of these for a while, and um, now I get to be on the other side of it. You know, it's cool. I love watching what you guys do. You two are something else, man. You you guys will really banter back and forth. It's it's uh, clearly, if 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 nothing else, a lot of fun to watch you two. Whether the guest has anything worthwhile saying, like me or not, right? Okay, <laughs> so so um, in all in all honesty, yeah, you know, I started doing real estate investing. Gosh darn, man, when I was younger than than Michael at age 23, back in 1989, I went to my first. Uh, Robert Allen, no money down, baby. Ironically, my good buddy that I golf with all the time down here, uh, John McCants, he's one of our instructors, also went to the same, the, the, the same Robert Allen um, 
boot camp dog and pony shows we call them these days <clears throat> in the same year 1989 so that's how far back I go but um you know over the years I had three different careers so so real estate investing really was on on the, on the like on the side it was a um I, w- I wouldn't call it a hobby but uh, it was it was a part-time thing for me because you know I, I had a family that, that I was raising at the time and and so you know I went through being a paramedic uh through I spent eight years working as a broker in Florida and then like Scott mentioned I own a cabinet shop up in Montana and uh, built uh custom closet cabinetry and garage cabinets for rich folks so good job to be in their checks don't bounce yeah but if I had to do it over again I'd, I'd pour concrete because they got a lot more money when they're pouring the concrete than when they're putting their closets in at the end of the, the end of the build so you know, when I, like what Scott said, what, you know, when I found, when I ran across you guys, I was looking for another, I was looking for another boot camp. I was looking for the newest, latest, greatest, you know, what's going on now. I'd been up there, you know, I watched the whole crash down here in Arizona happen over 08, 09, 10. So this was 2013. And I finally sold that, that cabinet shop I was getting the heck out of the freezing cold snow and back down here to where I belong as the desert rat that I am in Phoenix. So I ran across an ad, right? You know, and then I got to listen to Scott do his briefing, his intros, his follow-up. And, um, you know, when I, when I look back on it, it's kind of funny because I've, I've been doing this now, what, since 14, 2014. So what does that make it, you know, six years, I guess. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, I've helped a lot of, not only just the real estate, but I've helped a lot of people come on board too. I think um, I was looking at my numbers and, you know, I'm, I'm pushing up close to 300,000, which is kind of nice. You know, and that's just part, I'll tell you what, guys, I mean, the last couple of years, especially with this last COVID, I haven't, I really haven't worked much, to be honest with you. I've sold some properties, um, you know, because, of, you know, right now the market is at such a high level that, um, you know, I'm, I'm getting cash rich, or I'm getting that cash rich, I'm getting cash heavy, if yeah. you will, because uh, I did not have, I, I, I was not in a position to take advantage of, of what happened in 08 and 09. And although I don't ever, I don't, I don't see us seeing another thing like that happening again. We're gonna, we're gonna have some trouble here coming up pretty soon, and and I want to be, I want to be ready for that. So, um, yeah, I got, uh, I got started working from, you know, working with th- through Scott with the set web- webinars that you guys were doing uh, before I moved down here to Phoenix. And so, here's the cool thing about what what it, what happened with me. You know, I had probably spent, you know, if I sat down and thought about it, you know, at, at least close to 100 grand over the over the last 30 years on real estate ed- education, right? There were there were really two things that were that were just a done deal for me. Number one, practitioner instructors teaching classes, right? Okay, can I can I specify something while you're some of you might be watching this recording right now, Chuck? And I want sure. I want to make a distinction here because you're you're about to make a fantastic distinction. You spent a hundred thousand dollars on stuff before you met us, right? Right. If I'm saying, you know, that's guessing, but pretty close, maybe even more. Okay, no problem. But now you're about to tell us the difference between all of that and what you've experienced here. Is that oh, correct? yeah, that's okay. unbelievable. Good. Go. So, so yeah, you know, twenty. Look, at the first, the first uh, boot camp I went to was four thousand dollars. But four thousand dollars at twenty three years old is about the same as twenty thousand dollars at forty eight years old, right? Sure. <laughs> so, practitioner instructors, um, updated on a regular basis. I mean, to me, it was like, you got to be kidding me. You mean I can pay 20 grand right now, never have to buy red education ever again. And it's going to be updated, you know, year in and year out or, or as needed by practitioner instructors. That was all I needed. That was all I needed. Now, this is what I found out too. <clears throat> I'm not going to say that, um, that one's better than the other, but man, the community of people that I've met over the last six years that I've worked with, rival the, the, the value of the education as far as I'm concerned. And not only that, I'm like, I'm just now after what, six years, I'm, I'm taking classes on uh, land development because I've never done that before. I want to give it a shot. <laughs> right. So, um, so yeah, with it, with the education being updated on a regular basis with the community, I mean, you know, I, I've got friends all over the country now and, and I'll tell you Zach Allman, what he's done with, with the, with the Arizona community, you know, Gary G and, and, you know, just a whole group. Uh, I, I'm, there's no way I'm going to be able to name them all. Bill Predabon and, and uh, you know, Dave J. Quish and all these guys, you know, 
no matter what it is that, that we that a person would want to do if they came and got involved with with what it is that we're doing here there's no way that they're not going to be able to do it if they just hang around us right right you're, you're supposed to go yep chuck that's right that's right chuck <laughs> so you know um as far as like deals go you know I've, I've done several wholesale deals you know i did a bunch of flipping back in in 08 and 09 um the most recent deal what I really like doing more than anything else is lending money because that's the easiest. It, although it can be a little bit riskier than some of the other stuff, but one of the most recent deals, the first time ever I had to take a property back, poor kid um, really just didn't know what he was doing. He got, he kind of got beat up and, you know, he was cool about it and everything. He's look, man, I'm just going to quick claim this to you. You take it over. You know what you're doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I got to go. <laughs> right? So I take this house back from him and, uh, and I get into the rehab in it, and lo and behold, like six weeks into it, it burns down. So that oh. was new to me, <laughs> right? Yeah. But guess what? I'm not the first investor who's had a house burn down on them. So guess what I get mm. to do? I get to go talk to other people that have been, had that experience before and figure it out, right? And that, I mean, I don't think we have a class called, you know, I know there's niches, you know, there's the, there's the, the firehouse niches out there. But, you know, to me, it was just like, good grief, now what do I do? And that 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 uh, deal, which was supposed to be three months, you know, lasted uh, about thirteen. But you know, I um, I came away unscathed, and uh, you know, life is great. So during um, that thirteen months, that's my months, story, man. During that thirteen months, did you was that the only deal you were working on, or what else were you doing? No, no, no. So so like I said, I'm t right now. I'm taking the class on on land development because I I want to develop some land. I want to build. Some, I mean um inventories are so freaking low right now it's just ridiculous that's what's keeping all the prices up to where you know, that's what's keeping this market as strong and as solid as it is and i mean realtors are just begging uh, uh you know us investors to get out there and, and bring properties to the market whether they be flipped you know or, or whatever so you know i'm never going to be a fulton homes or anything like that but i mean doing a six or or or, you know, or ten door you know plot of land something like that but what i've been doing over that th 13 months to answer your question, Michael, is I actually been learning notes with Jay, with Jay Tenenbaum and, and Seti Gersh, uh, Seti, Seti Bank. And um, so, you know, that's, you know, that, that's where my focus has been, you know, probably gonna jump onto a, a, a land deal this year and uh, buying the notes. As a matter of fact, I'm looking at uh, a property in, um, in Boston, actually, Massachusetts, that came to our table on, uh, last Tuesday through the notes class that we have going on down here. So, um, you know, if you really want to buy property on sale still, it's in the Midwest and down south. It's not here in Phoenix. It's not up in Denver. It's not, you know, in LA or anything like that, man. It's, it's, uh, but there's, there's still a lot of land around the country that's, that's still on sale. And, you know, when these bigger areas, you know, slow down or, you know, basically what's going to happen is a lot of people are going to end up getting foreclosed on. We're going to have another really, you know, important opportunity for folks that are prepared. Right. That's what this is all about is getting equipped and ready for that next wave. You know, when they talk about the wave, there's three ways. You can ride it, you can be crushed by it, or you can completely miss it. You can be on the beach watching other people surf. <laughs> exactly oh look at chuck go look at chuck go look at chuck go <laughs> well you know that's kind of interesting too because when i was up in montana you know i was watching everything that was going on down here and to flip a house in phoenix versus to flip a house up in you know northwestern montana ski town huge you know big different of an environment right here's the sad thing though if i knew when I was living up there, what I learned and what I know now, I could have flipped up there. I could have done really, really well up there, man. Yeah. I mean, in the last six years, it's honest goodness truth. I've, I've said this more than once. I have, I've learned more than all the years combined before I started working with this group and taking the education that Bernardus has to offer. That's, that's honest goodness truth. Nice. Here comes Gene Powers. Yeah. We, we, just, let, we just let Gene in the room. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Gene. Listen, Chuck, Chuck wouldn't be here without Gene. Let me just tell no, you. Oh, no, I wouldn't. I, I owe her a lot. Hi, Gene. Miss you, girl. Hey, we should have Gene on one of these episodes. Eh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> she and I might get an argument. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm teasing. We're like brother and sister. That's probably why. <laughs> That's probably why. <laughs> Do it on a Friday. <laughs> there you go. Well, cool. Yeah, yeah, I love, I love Gene. More, Gene's awesome. Uh, land development when you when you finally find something because i've been i've been elbows deep 
in some land development stuff here. So let's keep You know talking. what, Chuck? You look we like you talk. belong. Listen, you belong you are you got the look already. You got that Tennessee look. You should go hang out in the woods with the uh, with the uh, with the him and kind of scope out the land development, p- p- pitch a tent and get going. You want land? I might have to do that, man. Like he's ready to go. He's got he's got 265 acres, Michael Huggins, right now. You better Yeah, you just gotta get that temperature back up to where I can uh, <laughs> you know survive, man. <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, it's like, it's like 40 degrees this morning and I'm freezing my butt off, man. I'm like, this sucks. Give me some sunshine. Give me some warmth. That, what is know? it in Tennessee there, Michael? What right now at? it's 40. I'm 27 yeah. right now. I'm at 27 degrees. Yeah. So. Come Summertime. To it's like 101. <laughs> it gets hot in the summer. Yeah. You yeah. get the humidity there too. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, guys, if you, if you, uh, if you want to be like Chuck, and you want to be just look look how chill this guy is. He's like he's like he wakes up. He's like, what am I gonna do today? Like mm. real estate, cash rich, ready for the next whatever the market's gonna do. And that's I think it's an important point. Um, you know whether it's an up market, down market. If you understand enough about real estate, like Chuck talked about earlier, you get you get lifetime access right to like coaching and the community and the, and the class all the changes right that's huge right. but the nice thing about it is it prepares you to be a transactional engineer so no matter what the market is you're like all right market change uh there's no inventory it's time to develop some land so you're not like gosh i wish i wish i knew what to do in this market you will have access to that to that education or that knowledge if you're hanging out with this group here it's been great and it's lifetime access like we all grown old together right like chuck's yeah. Chuck's going to carry my casket someday. That's how tight we are now. <laughs> One or the other, man. <laughs> One or the other, baby. <laughs> One or the other. <clears throat> yeah, this is a beautiful organization. Uh, we're not Michael's able- definitely going to be carrying my casket. He's just too young. I'm, I definitely, I think I'm out. I'm going to check out before he will, so. Well, yeah, hey, you know, on your note, Scott, when you've got a guy like Chris Wilson saying, hey, I'm, you know, lightening the load. Yeah. It's a guy, yeah. You know, you, you listen. Yeah, Attention. of course. And we have access to that, 20, you know, like right. for life. It's awesome. When you, it's awesome. I, I can't, I thank God I'm here. That's all right. I, Seriously. All right, what do you do next, pulse. Michael? Let's go. Love it. All right, folks. So if you want your finger on the pulse of what is going on in the country, when the real estate market, the money market, you want to be around us. So you're going to now get back with the person that invited you here, get the uh, private invitation to our intro our house tour, or our workshop, whichever one is next for you, you need to come to that. You need to see what we're doing. And then you're going to have a strategy session, a one-on-one or a two-on-one with that person and their strategy person so that you can figure out, hey, what are the blocks in my way and how can I get to where I want to go? Uh, This is a multi-year strategy. This is not a get-rich-quick scheme. You're going to have to lay out a plan here. But if you focus on it, man, things can turn around quick. So get back with the person invited you here, get that strategy session and go check out some previous episodes. We've got that. I think this is episode 57 now. So go check those out. Get inspired. I don't ask for Candace Adams. Say, no, don't show me the Candace Adams one. <laughs> <laughs> Love Stay it. away from the Candace Adams one. Yeah, there's so much inspiration here, guys, <laughs> guys and gals. Thank you, Chuck. Congratulations. Thank you for your contribution to our community and helping everyone else. And, um, and it's exciting to see your growth here. So. My pleasure. Appreciate Thanks for having me on. Thanks, man. Chuck. You're awesome, dude. Thank you, Michael. I'll see you, All Mike. Right, everyone. Take care. Bye now. Yeah.